everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mr. Mary, popularly known as Nurse with the Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for students. After our class on ULSA, I got a question from one of our students to create a video on the difference between gastric and duodenal ulcer. So this video is going to answer that question correctly. But before we go into details, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. It's free. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be telling you the difference between gastric and duodenal ulcer. In our previous lecture, we talked about peptic ulcer. What is peptic ulcer? We said that peptic ulcer is an erosion of the mucosa lining. When it happens in the stomach, it is known as gastric ulcer. When it happens in the esophagus, it is known as esophageal ulcer. And also, when it happens in the duodenum, it is known as duodenal ulcer. But this class is going to be giving you useful differences between duodenal and gastric ulcer. The first we have is gastric ulcer occur in the stomach, while duodenal ulcer occur in the duodenum. The second is epigastric pain one to two hours after eating. If you have watched our video on the anatomy and physiology of the stomach, you'll be able to notify or know where the epigastric region is. People with gastric ulcer usually have epigastric pain one to two hours after meal. Why do then have epigastric pain two to five hours after eating? Then the other is food aggravates pain food increases the pain but in duodenal ulcer food may relieve pain the other is hematemesis more common in gastric ulcer hematemesis is more common hematemesis simply means vomiting blood you know the stomach is closer to the mouth so hematemesis is more common in gastric ulcer why duodenal ulcer Malenal is more common. Malenal is passing your fecal matter alongside with blood. So the duodenum is closer to um, the anus. So to remember that, know that um, the stomach, that's the gastric part, is closer to the mouth and the duodenum is closer to the anus. So hematemesis is more common in gastric ulcer, while malenal is more common in duodenal ulcer. The other one is may cause weight loss. Gastric acid may cause, may cause weight loss, while duodenal ulcer, I mean ulcer, may cause weight gain. Then the other difference is peak age at 50 to 60 years. So people that normally go down with gastric ulcer are usually within the age of 50 to 60. That's the peak age. Why for duodenal ulcer, the peak age is 35 to 45 years. Then the last one we have here is that gastric ulcer, there's normal to hyposecretion of stomach acid. That's your HCL. It could be normal or hypo. But in duodenal, there's hypersecretion of stomach acid. In duodenal, there's what? Hypersecretion of stomach acid. If you have another difference between a gastric and duodenal ulcer you would like to share with us, kindly drop on the comment section. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to share and watch with a friend. Thanks and have a wonderful day ahead. See you in our next video.